We present neural geometric level of detail, real-time rendering with implicit 3D shapes. We live in a world where 3D scanning is becoming a commodity. Phones come shipped with LiDAR sensors, and deaf image sensors are getting better and better by the day. We also have entirely new modeling paradigms like VR sculpting and machine learning driven generative modeling which are letting artists create content easier than ever before. Combined sensing technologies and better modeling tools, you have an explosion in mesh complexity. With a crazy Pixar movie scene, you'll have hundreds of these complex meshes. This results in gigabytes and gigabytes of data to manage. This is a huge problem in digital graphics where you want to render not just on one GPU but a thousand GPUs. In these scenarios, synchronizing these huge mega assets becomes the bottleneck. This is also a big problem for edge graphics where maybe you need to stream assets to a phone playing Roblox or you want HD map data for autonomous vehicles out in the field. These applications have very limited storage and bandwidth. We turn to sine distance functions as an alternate compact geometry representation. Sine distance functions are a function of position, which returns the distance to the nearest surface. Sine distance functions are great because they are compact. Something as simple as a sphere can require many vertices and triangles, but for a sine distance function, it's a simple math function that you probably learned in high school. Unfortunately, most 3D data are not math functions, and so you don't have a closed form expression. Fortunately, with enough computation, you can sample the sine distance function for a mesh at various points in the volume with cool algorithms. If you have an unknown function but samples of the input and output, the modern trend today is to use machine learning to approximate the function. This has given rise to a large body of works on so-called neural SDFs, where a neural network is used to learn these implicit shapes. However, these networks are often very large in practice, which becomes prohibitively expensive at render time due to the iterative nature of sphere tracing. In addition, current approaches are typically single scale. This means that the computational complexity for a simple teapot or highly detailed horseman is the same. This cost is also fixed whether the object is close to the camera or very far away where the details are less visible. This is not ideal for performance. In this work, we propose to learn local surfaces with a tiny neural network. Paired with an efficient sparse voxel octree, our representation can adapt to the level of detail, the complexity of the object, and visibility. We additionally propose a rendering algorithm tailored to our representation. This efficient yet expressive representation enables rendering at interactive rates, resulting in over 100x speedup over prior works like DeepSDF. Our method works as follows. Starting from a base shape, we first sample a query point in the bounding volume of the shape. This point is then queried into a sparse feature octree encompassing the object. To compute a sign distance for a given point, nested parent voxels are first retrieved up to a certain level. Corresponding voxel features are then trilinearly interpolated at their corners to get sparse voxel features, which we then sum. We feed the resulting vectors into our tiny decoder along with the position to compute the level dependent sign distance. Here we show qualitative comparisons of our representation in blue against several baselines in orange. Our technique can recover in fine details on the gear, while others tend to lose sharp geometric features completely. We also note that our representation is able to generate these frames much faster than the baselines. Some of them are over 100 times slower and require extracting a mesh using Martian cubes for any downstream applications. Compared to traditional mesh decimation techniques like edge collapse, our method is perceptually better, especially at lower LODs. Here, each column uses the same memory budget and the ground truth mesh is shown on the right. Finally, we show a real-time demo of neural geometric LOD rendered at 720p, where frames per second are shown at the top. The render speeds up significantly at higher distances where lower, cheaper LODs can be used. We also show a visualization of the sparse voxels that define the shape. Switching between LODs, the voxel grid becomes coarser. We also show all discrete LODs where quality increases with grid resolution. Thank you for watching.